All right, so here we have the uh, CMU cam with the um, Roby Networks Wi-Fi GSX Wi-Fi card and the uh, uh, connected through UART through UART one on the CMU cam. Uh, this thing does real-time image processing. Um, of course, we use Kapton tape uh, to mount it and double-sided tape, uh, Velcro to um, make it a little bit more rigid on the pan servo and then we use a 9.6 volt battery uh, 2.6 amps uh, milliamps uh, capacity and that powers both the uh, po the board and the Wi-Fi card and also the motors uh, of course logic is 5 volts um, and then uh, some of the components use 3.3 volts so it has the in inbuilt regulators uh, so right now we're going to be showing you real-time image tracking and we could also command it through the Wi-Fi card through ad hoc network through a laptop. So here we go. Further out. So we're doing a low resolution and we're capturing uh, uh, picture uh, red pixel values and we're using threshold values. We're using a RGB 0 to 255 resolution on each filter and um, we're using a threshold 100 to 255 on red, 0 to 30 on green and 0 to 30 on blue. So if it meets these values, it goes ahead and logs it as a red pixel, creates a mass pixel, red pixel mass values. Um, and then computes a centroid. Once it finds a centroid, um, perfect centroid would be 8871, which is perfect center. If it's anywhere out of bounds in, from the centroid, it goes ahead and commands the panatel mechanism to move in that direction. Um, that's pretty much about it. So we're using uh, two servos here. Uh, I believe it's the uh, GWS SO3T2BB, which is just, uh, this is two ball bearings. Uh, plastic uh, uh, bear plastic uh, gears and this is the CMU Cam 3 and this is all custom code. It goes real slow though but it could be uh, made to go faster if we remove the serial communication which outputs 115 kilobits per second. Um, that's pretty much about it. So the next step up would be to have a be able to receive um, the data, the output of the camera through Wi-Fi on my laptop, so I can have like a GUI, um, and it, I'm able to connect through this through wireless. This is, you know, have a robot that is able to do uh, color tracking wirelessly, and me control it through my laptop and change the parameters on the fly as well. So that's the next step. So everything's pretty much uh, connected in UART, which is pretty much USB. Uh, right now it's it's just pulsing because it's not able to connect to a network and the right one's pretty much telling me that I haven't uh, secured an IP address from the network and that's pretty much about it and of course we use Play-Doh thanks Steve right on <laughs>